ladies and gentlemen in today's video i will show you how you can create this kind of render using cycles so without any further ado let's get started so first of all we're gonna start by not deleting the cube but rather scaling it up to a rectangular loom like structure after that we're gonna press tab to go to the edit mode and then select this faces button select faces and then click on this face of the cube and press X and then faces to delete this face and then again press tab to go back to object mode and click on this camera icon and press N to get this menu and select this low camera to view option and now you can adjust your camera positions but you can always change it later and now we need to add windows to our room and for that I will press shift A and then select cube and scale it about the size of a window and place it where you want your windows to be I will also change its name to window 1 and then I will select the room and under modifiers I will add a solidifier modifier. Here I will increase the thickness of the room to 0.06 meter and then I will add another modifier which is boolean modifier and under object I will select our window cube. To see the changes you can select the window and change its viewport display from texture to wire. And now we have created our window. Since I want two windows so I will press shift D and then right click and drag it to make a duplicate of our window. And then we will add another boolean modifier to our room and this time we will select the second window. Then I will press tab to go to edit mode and select the bottom face of the room and delete it. After that I will press shift A and add a new plane and scale it up about the size of our room. And then again I will go back to edit mode and this time I will select the plane and then right click and subdivide. And from this drop down menu I will give it a 100 cuts. You can also choose 50, it's all up to you. Then we will go to sculpting mode and by using this default draw brush I will create some bumps on the plane with low radius and strength. You can also use proportional editing or displacement but I am just gonna use this sculpting for this. After I have created some bumps, I will now go back to the layout tab and move this slider up and choose shader editor. From here, I will create a new material and name it ground. And then I will go to edit, preferences and search for node wrangler add-on. And enable it by clicking the checkbox. And now you can press ctrl shift t to add your texture. I downloaded my texture from polyheaven and I downloaded this texture from this website. After downloading, select the texture and click on principal texture setup and Blender will automatically set up your textures for you. Then on this mapping node, I will change the XYZ scale value to 5. And then under the material properties of the plane, I will scroll down and select settings and change the displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. And now I will decrease the displacement height value to something like 0.23. And now if we click on this render button we will see nothing because there is no light so I will press shift A and under light I will choose the sunlight. Then I will place the sun outside and also change its angle. I will also increase its strength to 20 for now. I also decrease the displacement value to 0.100. I also added this concrete texture on the room walls. And after some minor tweaking, here is how our scene looks right now. And now we will scatter grass and foliage on the floor. For this, I have these grass assets which I downloaded for free from Max3. They have one free pack available for download. So add this into your cart and then click on check out. From here fill all the required information and then click on place order. Then they will send you the download link onto your email. From there you can download the zip file and after extracting it you can get these tons of high quality grass and trees and plants and many more assets. So I imported some of these grass assets into blender and now by selecting the plane I will click on this button and add a new particle system. From here click on here and then advance and under render change it from path to object. 
and under the instance select the object that you want to scatter for me it's the big grass patch so you can see that it's now scattered but their angle is not right so for that we will check the rotation and choose the orientation object y or global y i will decrease the render amount to 500 or below and i will also increase the scale value to 0.150 you can also increase the scale randomization a little bit. At this point, really experiment with all the settings and see what works best for you. Since these are high quality assets, so your monitor can be a bit laggy. So for that, select the asset and change its viewport display from textured to bounds. And now it's all right. But I am gonna change it back texture for this tutorial. I will also increase the sunlight strand to 40 or 45 and also choose a warmer color. Then I will add a second particle system and choose here and then click on advance and under render I will choose collection and in instance I will choose my collection because I am scattering more than one asset. And then I will change the orientation to object Y and also increase the scale. You can change the settings according to your own scene. Then I imported some more assets from max 3 pack and then again I will add another particle system and choose here and then advance and render as collection. And in instance I will choose my collection, change the orientation, increase the scale all the same as before. And now our scene is looking pretty cool, but it will be better with some flowers. So for that I have these flower assets. So then again I will add another particle system and apply all the same settings as before. You can also put everything in a single collection and then scatter it, but individually you can get a lot more control. And this is how our scene looks right now. I guess it's looking pretty cool. And now our final particle system. Now this one is completely optional. And I'm just adding it for some more details. All the assets that I will be adding in our scene today other than Max Tree, will be included in a Blender file so you can download it from the link in the description for free. And now our floor part is done. And now we will add some other assets to fill in our scene like these curtains and a chair which are also included in the blender file below. There is nothing behind the window so I will press shift A and import images as planes. From here you can choose any background image that you want and click on import images as planes and place it behind your window. You can also use an HDRI for this. And now I will add some more assets to fill in our scene which I downloaded from Sketchfab. But they are also included in the Blender file in the description. This plant is the same that we used in our last particle system. I just increased its size and placed it here. And then I added some more trees from Max3 and last but not the least we will add volumetric. So for that I will press Shift A and select Cube. 
and then scale it up so it covers the whole scene and then I will change its visibility to wire and then I will assign it a new material and I will click on this principal PSDF and press X to delete it and shift A and search for principal volume then connect the volume to the volume output and decrease the density value to something like 0.1 And now if you click on render, we get these nice gold rays or light rays. After that, under render properties, I gave 500 render samples and then rendered the scene. And here is our final result. If you like my video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.